Yo, what is up guys, Matt Wick here, and I am back. Another video, can you believe it? Yes, you can. <laughs> um, this one's going to be a quick one. Uh, just going to show you guys what my gameplay sliders that I have found to work for me in NHL 20 are. Um, haven't played like a ton. I've played quite a bit, <laughs> I would say. Um, it's going to be pretty similar to what I had last year. Uh, if you watched that video before, these are going to be the best gameplay sliders for most realistic play, especially in your franchise modes. Um, biggest thing I do, like I did last year, 7 out of 10 attribute effects. It still works. Nothing's really changed. Um, I want the best players to feel like the best, and giving this slight boost to attribute effects definitely feels like to me that it has a big impact on what uh, those top-end players are going to be able to do. Uh, the biggest thing I do, I do it always, I did it last year, I'll do it this year, I'll do it next year. Uh, fatigue effect, this is one thing that needs changed big time if you're going to want realistic in-game play. Um, the fatigue effect for your team has to be high, recovery low. Reason for this, when you get to the third period, there's three minutes left, all of your lines are going to be on orange, and you're going to be like, fuck, I have to play that fourth line, and this is going to make you have a lot of uh, faith in them, um, or it's going to make you aware of that fourth line. You can't just cheese out your first line constantly, have them play 25 minutes a night, um, not, especially not with these sliders. Even if you're only playing like five to four minute periods, it's going to have a big effect. Injury occurrence is another thing. Drop that down low. If you play with injuries on, I personally don't. Um, but if in case I forget to turn injuries off, uh, it's nice to not have something that's going to really blow you up. Uh, skating, I really don't touch skating just because I feel like it's pretty good. Um, nothing really to mess around with there. Shooting, the only thing I touch here is I'll drop one-timer accuracy down a little bit. Um, everything else I feel like is fine. It's just the one tease. I feel like the computer can uh, line them up a little too, too easily. If you want to, you can even go a little bit lower than this, almost to like a 38. Um, the only thing is once you get your defenseman, if you're not, if you're aiming for those top corners with your defenseman, which I mean, they really aren't in, in real life. So I guess 38 wouldn't be a bad spot for it. Um, but the nice thing about this is once in a while, you will see the computer when they go for a cross crease, they'll rip it. But if it's maybe a lower overall player, there's a higher chance that he might even miss the net as opposed to hit the post or not put it in the perfect spot um, where your goalie is not covering. So this is something nice that can have a nice little effect while you're playing those in-game. Um, passing, I don't really touch this too much just because it's all over the place. The only thing I think I do, puck control rating effect, I bump up slightly. Um, just because I like whatever the player's rating to be to have a higher influence on what they can uh, what they can do with the puck. Uh, so 53 isn't too crazy. Um, just give them a little bit more if they have that higher uh, puck control effect um, or passing. What was it? Passing effect? Uh, yeah, puck control rating. Um, puck control. I don't really touch this a whole lot. Um, just because I feel like it's already it's already pretty good to what it should be. Goalies, the only thing I will do in this, I bumped up the cross crease reaction time slightly just because the computer, as along with players, will try to cheese the cross crease like crazy. Um, so it's nice to not have that be the only way the computer can score on you. If you bump this up slightly, your goalie has a chance to make a little bit of a higher save. Um, I believe deflection reaction time I bumped up just a little bit. Screen effect I bumped up a little bit just because, you know, if you have a nice screen in front or you have a guy who likes to sit in the middle, um, it's nice to have that have a little more effect. Persistence, I didn't change that at all. Checking, I don't really believe I touched this too much, if at all. Um, the only thing, I think I bumped up the balance and rating effect, just like I said before, for the puck control effect. I like the ratings to have a little bit more of a higher influence on my gameplay. So if a player has a good checking, I want him to be able to put a little bit more oomph on his checks as opposed to a player who doesn't. And same for balance. Speed effect, not too much there. Size effect. You can bump up a little bit if you want those um, like bigger players to have like more of a... More of a feel in the game, like if you have a six foot eight defenseman and he hits somebody, obviously he's gonna knock somebody off the puck a lot easier than a five foot nine defenseman will. 
Um, other than that, penalties is something I change up quite a bit. I bump uh, bump this down, I believe. Most of it's set to 50. Tripping, slashing, elbowing, I left it alone. High sticking, I'd bump that down 10. Cross checking, 10 as well. Same with boarding. I don't like my games being riddled with penalties, especially um, big thing that I do is the computer. Where is it at the top? Computer teammate penalties, I bump that down a lot just because, you know, it's bullshit when your computer teammate goes behind somebody and does the good old fucking stick lift and tries to hit the guy and slashes him. Of course, because you press the A button, that's a penalty. Um, so I lower most of this down. Interference, nothing on this I bump up. I lower all of it down just a little bit, like I said, because I don't want my games riddled with penalties. Um, and then with the AI, AI learning, default 6 out of 6. Um, I love when the AI adjusts to how I play because it makes me play a different way, a way that I'm not used to. Another thing, a big thing with this, guys, is if you're going to want realistic play, you yourself have to play somewhat more realistically. If you know that there's the cheese at the top of the face-off circle when you're coming down, you can rip it back across your body, uh, blocker side, and you do that every time to score a goal, obviously, if the game doesn't feel realistic, that's your own fault. <laughs> um... CPU, uh, difficulty adjustment, I bump up as well. As you feel like the game gets easier, keep bumping it up another step. If the game feels too hard, bump it down a little bit. Um, it starts off 0 out of 6. I put mine at 2 out of 6 just because I'm a, a, a bit of a veteran player. So I like to you know start out a little bit higher on each of the uh, each of the years just so that you know I get that feel. Um, but you can set these settings to whatever you like. Like I said, this is what I feel works best for me. Me personally, though, I try to play the games realistic. I don't use cheese if I know it's there. I know if I skate backwards with the computer behind me for long enough, he will trip me, he will stick lift me, he will hook me. I can draw a penalty easily. I'm not going to do that if it's late in the game and I'm looking for a penalty. I'm going to try to earn that with a trip. I'm going to try to earn it with hard play. I'm going to try to put my guys on crash to the net, crash to the net, keep the puck in the zone, earn the penalty that way instead of trying to do cheese. You can change these sliders all you like. It still comes down to how you play the game. Play it realistically, guys. Have fun with it. Don't do that dumb bullshit cheese. That's the biggest thing I have to say at the end of this video. Uh, I hope these sliders work for you. If you guys have anything that works for you that I didn't change in this, specifically with the shooting, passing, um, goalies, the checking... Um, and the skating. Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoy these. Let me know how you work, how they work for you. Um, and yeah, that's the end of this one, boys. Peace.